Paul, just to kick things off with, with you, I know you've uh, of late been, been relatively reassured by the economic data coming out of the US uh, and, and that that might uh, at least help explain some of the equity market run. Uh, do you get concerned by a, a jobs miss like we saw this morning? Particularly, um, you look at, at the ADP last quarter, last month missed by over a million, and then the non-farm payrolls came in 300,000 above expectations. So I wouldn't put too much into that. I mean, it's very hard to get an accurate read on these numbers here as far as the jobs are concerned. But the economic data we're seeing, uh, the momentum in economic indicators, obviously it's off a low base, but it's the strongest three months we've seen since at least 1999. So uh, the, the recession that started in February is over for all intents and purposes. Uh, what happens going forward is another story. But right now, this is the, the kind of action we're seeing is early recovery uh, type of action. Uh, Anastasia, we've seen so many attempted breakouts higher from yields uh, over the course of, well, the last couple of years, but it, also the last couple of weeks and months, and, and with it, uh, attempted breakouts by the financials. Do you think that changes meaningfully uh, anytime soon? You know, I think financials is a really interesting trade at the moment because one thing that has changed for financials over the last really couple of weeks is the yield curve. The yield curve has steepened out meaningfully, and we actually think there's more to that trend to go for the rest of the year. We could see higher nominal yields, but not really much in terms of inflation. So that would be quite supportive for financials. And obviously, as we talked about, the economic activity is improving as well. So that's the second pillar of support. The third thing I would say is has a little bit to do with the uh, outcome of the elections. And if uh, the potential win of the incumbent means return to deregulation of financials, that could be the further catalyst that is needed for financials to uh, to do well here. So it's a bit of a contrarian trade. At the same time, they're down 17 percent. So I think it's definitely worth a look. But there's lots of other parts of the market that are doing well. And I would say, well, that yields, generally speaking, they're inching a little bit higher, but they're still anchored at very, very low rates. And so what that means, is that valuations for the market and especially for growth uh, stocks like technology can continue to move higher here.